Hello. Bonjour, as we say in uh, Reading. Um, welcome back to the, um, I can't remember who I am, Alex. Oh yeah, Alex, uh, the Base Ranger to Infirmity and Beyond, as we're not getting any younger, well, I'm not getting any younger, who is getting any younger? Um, not me, that's for sure. So, uh, following on from last time, uh, same stuff as last time, we're just gonna have a look at a base, uh, I'll tell you a few specs about it, uh, do a little track at the end, you can hear what it sounds like. Nice, 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 thank you very much, Alex. That's your welcome, my pleasure. Um, so we have here, what do we have today, I hear you ask? Oh, uh, what, we do what, do we what do we have? We have a Zon, uh, Zon Legacy Elite, uh, made by Joe Zon. Um, I think he started in Buffalo, 90, about 1980, uh, I, I say about, it was 1981, because I looked it up. I mean, how can you say about, it was on the internet. Made, 1981, started Zon. Um, uh, they do various different models. This is called the Legacy Elite, which is the top of the range stuff that they do. Um, so this one um, features a mahogany body. Mahogany body. Uh, I think, I'm not sure of the top to be honest, I think it's walnut. Um, but the difference between Zons and a lot of other manufacturers are composite graphite necks. So uh, graphite made uh, with wood mixed into it, as is the fingerboard. They call it fenno wood, uh, which is strands of wood and graphite weaven, woven to, weaven? weaving, woven together to make a very, very strong and very uh, in-your-face kind of sound. No hiding when there's graphite around, you just can't hide from it. This bass was lent to me by my good friend Todd, who lives in Canada. Thank you very much, Todd. Thank you. Um, so what do we have? I'm glad you asked. We've got some Goto tuners, two uh, soap bar pickups. Um, made by Bartolini, I think. I think they're made by Bartolini. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. Uh, and we have a lovely three band EQ. So we have bass at the front, middle in the middle. Good, that's the best place for it. And treble at the back. We also have a pan and a volume. Now the thing about the pan, it's a bit confusing. It confuses me, which isn't hard to do these days. Um, so most basses, in the middle is both, which is good. And then if you pan to the back, you think, hey, that's that pickup. Mm -mm -mm. You'd be wrong. Um, it's actually the front pickup, which caught me out a couple of times actually making this. Uh, and then if you pan, pan to the forward, to pan forwards, you get the back pickup. Um, not many bases do that. I think Sadowski do that as well, which if you're used to other bases can be a little bit confusing, but if you're confused anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so what I'm gonna do, same old, oh. Just have a quick listen to what it sounds like. Pan it in the middle. Uh, if you pan it backwards, as you say, but if you pan it back, it's now the front. If you pan it forwards, it's now the back. And in the middle. Very nice indeed. Uh, so, same as last time, I've uh, found a drum pattern on Logic. Logic, up there for thinking, down, down there for other things. Uh, Logic, uh, drum pattern, came out of the bass line, uh, and then just built it up over that, sort of found some loops, as I did last time. Boring, boring, boring. Not boring, it's not boring. Why do you say boring, it's not? Uh, and then, laid it over, did a little uh, solo in the middle, and then a weird double thumb thing at the end. Um, so we started off on the, on the first bit of the song, it is on both pickups. And then the finger style is the back pickup, which is pan forward, uh, then both, and then the last bit, which is the double thumbing bit, is on the front pickup, which is panned backwards. See, even now I'm getting confused with it, but it doesn't matter. It's fine, I'll be fine. Thank you. Uh, so have a listen. I don't know why I'm pointing there because it's not going to come through there. It is going to come through there. Anyway, have a listen, see what you think. Uh, any suggestions apart from give up, uh, more than welcome. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Don't be a str I did that last time. But it's my catchphrase. Don't be a stranger to <laughs> the Bass Ranger. Ciao for now. Thank you.